Welcome to ISE's FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly outlook on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies, hosted by Jason Ayers, a top industry instructor and founder of Optionsource.net. Learn to trade your views on the strength or weakness of the U.S. dollar. Hi there and welcome to the ISE FX Options Weekly Outlook for March 16, 2009. I'm your host, Jason Ayers, founder and president of Optionsource.net. As always, we're going to take a look at our weekly U.S. dollar index. This is a great way to gain some perspective as to how the U.S. dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. Now, you can see that the dollar index so, showed some signs of strength at the beginning of the week before pulling back to close near the lows on Friday. Now, a deeper retracement could yield a test down into this 84-85 focal zone. However, we are currently testing a short-term support around 87, and a bounce here and a, a break above 89 opens the window for a test into that 90-92 box. A quick look at our daily uh, chart shows some indecision here at this current level. With that in mind, let's take a look at the first of our CFX option pair values, the CDD, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar. Now, we saw that anticipated test of that 126, 127 focal zone, and although the pair value closed on the upside of this range, a deeper retracement will likely find support down at that 124 to 124 and a half area. A push higher is certain to meet with resistance at 129, 130, but our bigger picture upside star our target still remains 132. Next up, the YUK, the U.S. versus the Japanese yen, and the U.S. dollar has been gaining some strength over the yen for a few months now, and uh, we're finally meeting with some resistance at our upside target zone of 98.99. Now, this week's pullback landed right at a key focal zone and then subsequently bounced, although 98.99 remains a substantial upside resistance level. Further strengthening of the dollar will have us targeting the 101.102 box. Well, we're seeing some definite signs of a topping pattern as the EUI, the U.S. versus the Euro, appears to have formed a double top. Now, the pair value is currently trading within a key focal zone, and failure to find support here opens the window for an even deeper move down into that 76 box. A bounce here at the 77-78 level is certain to meet with resistance once again at that 80-81 level. Let's take a look at the U.S. versus the pound. The BPX pulled back this week and is currently testing support at the 71, 71 and a half focal zone. Now, support here will likely give way to a retest uh, of that 72, 73 area. However, a bigger picture retracement could see a move back down towards 69. Now, a mild bounce at 71 and a subsequent break below will lend further credibility to this move taking place. Well, the AUX, the U.S. versus the Australian dollar, pulled all the way back to that lower range of the 152-154 focal zone, which now opens the window for an even deeper retracement towards the 146-148 area. Now, should the AUX establish a support level within that 152-154 box, we would be looking for a retest of that 158-160 area. Let's review our key points. First of all, the dollar rejected at the 88.89 focal zone and has now moved down to test a near-term retracement zone. Although a bounce is expected, we are looking for a deeper retracement after such a robust upside move over the last few months. That being said, the CDD, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar, traded back down into that 126, 127 focal zone as anticipated. Support here will likely yield another test of 130. However, a deeper retracement could reach a low of 124. The YUK retraced back to 95, but appears to have found some support here. A break above 98 opens the window for a possible extended move towards 102. The EUI retraced back towards support at the 77-78 focal zone, although a bounce is expected after a week of selling. This retracement will likely pull back to 75. The BPX pushed as high as 73 last week before retracing back down to 71. If the BPX fails to find support here, we will likely see a move as low as 69. And finally, the AUX is searching for support. Further weakness opens the window for a test into that 146-148 focal zone. And this has been your ISEFX Options weekly the outlook for March 16th. I'm Jason Ayers, founder and president of Optionsource.net. Thanks for joining me this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For more information about Jason Ayers and to sign up for free FX Options trade alerts, just visit www.optionsource.net. To learn more about ISE FX Options, including our weekly webinar series, 
visit us at www.isc.com/fx.